Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to download the Stardew Valley Extended Mod Pack. Before we start, I do have to mention that these mods will only start on PC. This won't work on Switch or any mobile versions. It also won't work on pirated versions. This has to be downloaded from Steam. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go and look up smappy.io. So just click the first one here and download it. Mine says download Smappy. 3.14.2. Now that could be different for whatever version you're getting. I like to do direct download because I don't know, it makes it easier. So down here you see it downloading. We just gotta wait for that. It says it may be dangerous, but it's not. Don't worry. We're just gonna wait for that to download and then drag it onto our desktop. Just to make it easier for ourselves. You're gonna right click it and extract all. So let's just let that do its thing really quickly. There we go, that wasn't that hard. Now we have it here. You're gonna wanna go to this PC and type in Steam Apps. Now this always takes a while for me. So I will be back once this works. While we wait for that to load, let's double click this and go install on Windows. So this little screen here pops up, don't worry, it's nothing threatening. Make sure that it's going to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Stardew. Or you can enter a custom game path. So here we want the first one. So we'll press one and press enter. It does a little thing. Now it says, what do you want to do? You can install it or uninstall it. So you're gonna press one to install it. And press enter. Boom, it's installed. While you did that, you can access out. While you did that, this should be finished. Oh my God, it's still not finished. One second. Okay, it finally loaded. You could double click that and go in and then go to common. Once you're in common, look for Stardew Valley. And if you scroll through, you should be able to scroll down. I know I have a lot more things than you probably do. Just ignore it. You're going to find the normal Stardew launcher. This is what you use when you want to play just normal vanilla Stardew. Then you got Stardew modding API. Now, if you look at it, you could see that it's a little bit different. It's, um, it's a chicken that looks like a puffer fish, but that's totally fine. This is what you're going to use when you want to play modded. Once that's installed, go to Nexus, Stardew Valley. Go right in. You're going to have to log in if you do want to download any mods. So once you're done logging in, it's very simple. You just put your email and stuff. Type in Stardew Expanded and it should come up right here. To make sure it's the right one, just make sure it has around 8 million views. Go down here, go to Files. I normally do manual download. So you're gonna see that you're gonna need all of this. Now that's totally fine because you download it the same way each time. So we're gonna download. And I don't have the premium, so I do slow download, but trust me, slow download isn't that bad. It's gonna ask you if you wanna donate, but it's not necessary. Just wait for your download to finish and boom, it starts downloading down there. Once that's done, go to your downloads. It should be right there and drag it to your desktop just to make it easier. Double tap it, open it, double click on mods, mods, and then just drag it in. Now you can see it's right here, but don't forget about all the mods that we still need. To find that again, go to description, scroll down, install guide, and right here is all the mods you're gonna need. All you need to do is right click on them, open in a new tab, and here's the download page right here. Don't forget to go to files and then press manual download and do the exact same thing you just did for the Stardew Expanded for all of these. Once you have all those installed, I do have an extra bit in here. That's why you have a little less than me. You can go back, scroll down, find the Stardew modding API and add it to your desktop. Now mine's already added to my desktop. Here it is. Here's the little chicken puffer fish. So if you double click on that, this will pop up. Now don't worry, it looks, it looks threatening, but it's really not. Just wait for this to load through. And once it loads through here on my other screen is the new Stardew. Just to double check it works, I have a tester that we can go and test right now. Now you see that it's taking a little bit longer to load and that is because you just added a bunch of new mods. See here in the background that it just generated a bunch of things. Just ignore it, it's all good. Now to make sure that it's fully installed, what I do to double check is I go to maps and if you see these mountains and you see extra houses, you know it's installed. 
Another way to double check is just coming to the bus stop down here. There is an extra little bit. We can also run directly to the village to see that the main square has changed a little bit. As you can see, it is a bit different. Therefore, we know that the extended pack has worked. If you want to double check that the customs and oh, you can also double check by seeing the dog. If you want to double check that the custom NPCs have worked. You can go and find a new house. And just pop right in. Never mind, it's, uh, I gotta wait. <laughs> Lucky me, I got, uh, this. So, boom. There we go, custom NPC walking around. We are all good to go. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up if this did help. I'll hopefully be coming out with more Stardew content very soon. I'm very addicted to this game at the moment, so just, just expect more of this, okay? Anyway, I will see you all later. Goodbye. Oh, one more thing. If you do X this out, the whole game goes. J that's just, that's, so don't accidentally X this out because you will lose the progress of this day. But since I'm leaving, I can just exit out. See? And then you can put this wherever you want. And then you can get rid, you can take these off your, uh, desktop. And X that.